Hello. In this video, I'm going to give a short overview of the class diagram tool in Visual Studio, which in my experience is a very underutilized uh, modeling tool. So a class diagram is going to give us an overview of a system by showing us the types and the relationships between them. So I'm going to uh, right mouse button click on my project and choose add new item and select class diagram from the C-sharp items. And uh, class diagram are static, uh, which means that they display what interacts, but not what happens when uh, they do interact. So I'll be de demonstrating a common structural pattern here called the decorator, which will utilize the uh, controls that are displayed here in the toolbox for the class designer. So I'm going to select a, uh, an interface, which I will call pizza. And I'm going to display the window called the class details window. And let's go ahead and lock this in place. Okay. <clears throat> and to our interface, I will add two properties, one representing a price, which will be decimal, and ingredients, which will be a string. We can optionally add a summary, which is XML documentation that can be helpful for documentation and for IntelliSense that's built into uh, the application. For our summary here, we'll say cost, there we go, cost of a pizza. And for ingredients, we'll say list of toppings. We can now view the code and see what was generated. It contains the XML documentation plus the property settings for read, write. I'll remove the set, go back to the class diagram. And now we want to create a concrete type that will implement our pizza interface. So I'll call this uh, classic pizza. And now to support inheritance, we select the inheritance tool and uh, select the inheritance tool, move your mouse over classic pizza and select classic pizza and then drag it up to the base type for inheritance support. And at this point we're, we're done. So we can now uh, go into the code. I typically go back and forth between the code and the designer and implement the cost and ingredients for a real pizza. So here we'll just say return 20 and uh, return basic ingredients. And back in the class diagram window, oops, I have a mistake here. <clears throat> okay, back in the class diagram window, I'm going to make one more change to our classic pizza. If you uh, scroll down to the modifiers in the properties window for our classic pizza, it's um, right now it shows inheritance modifiers none. I'm going to select sealed, which means that now this class won't be able to be subclassed. And to get around that problem, I'm going to implement what's called a decorator. And a decorator is a, an abstract class. So I'll drag and drop an abstract class over here that I'll call pizza decorator. That implements the contract associated with our pizza. And we'll take in as an argument an instance of any object that implements the pizza contract. And it will also hold a reference back to the pizza instance so that uh, our concrete de decorators will be able to extend the, uh, the set of behaviors and properties. So let's implement the inheritance, drag drop. And now we're going to add a constructor to our pizza decorator, 
So we select Add Constructor. And in the Class Details window, I'm going to take the constructor and add a parameter just by expanding that node, and I'll call this Pizza. The type will be obviously Pizza. <clears throat> the next thing we'll do is specify that we want a uh, backing field to hold on to that Pizza instance that's passed in <clears throat> as an association. So we'll call this a Decorated Pizza. And the type will be pizza. Now in the class diagram window, let me just uh, scroll this up a little bit here. I want to show the decorated pizza as an association. So we choose the uh, option here, show as association. Now we are going to look at the code for the pizza decorator and uh, just hook up the instance that's passed into our decorated pizza and then implement the uh, price oh I need to change this to a pizza okay could have done that in the designer as well uh, but so notice you can you can mix and match we can go back and forth between the designer and the the code and for our price we're simply going to return this is the interesting part here we're going to return the decorated pizzas property called price. And we'll do the same thing for our ingredients. And to finish this up, now we can grab the uh, class from our toolbox and make maybe a sausage pizza. Add the, I'm sorry, we add the inheritance here. So we'll be implementing the interface indirectly. Uh, but in order to do so, we're, we're going to uh, need a couple of things. First, we need to make sure that our ingredients and, and price are overridable. So I could go back to the code to do that. Um, the easiest way to do that through the designer is by selecting the property and go to the properties window and find the inheritance modifier and select from the list uh, virtual. Do the same thing for price. Inheritance uh, virtual. Our sausage pizza will, pizza will take an instance of any type of a pizza instance. So we'll add a constructor and go to the class details again, expand the node Call this pizza, and the type is pizza. At this time, we don't need a backing field because we're going to defer back to the base. So we go into the code for our sausage pizza, view code. And for our constructor, we just type base and pass in the pizza instance. Obviously, we don't want to throw an exception here. And because we've marked our uh, properties as virtual, we can now just type override, space, and select ingredients and do the same thing for price. So for our ingredients, we can then extend with uh, whatever toppings we are associated with the sausage pizza. So we can say sweet sausage. And here, well, for our price, do the same thing, and we'll add, uh, say, $3.75 and uh, 75 cents M for monetary. Lastly, we'll see the pieces put together in the class diagram window. If you uh, want to extend the, if you want to extend the, uh, uh, the property descriptions that are, that are shown to us. We can <clears throat> right mouse button, click in the designer window and change the member format to display the full signature or just display the name and type. So for example, displaying the full signature will give us uh, all of the details about the properties, methods, and events if we had any. And you can lay these out according to your needs. 
And uh, when you're finished, just choose layout diagram from the list. And uh, this gives you a, a nice pictorial representation of the static diagram. So going in to finish this up, let's see if it works. I'll go to my program here. And uh, I've already written some code based on the names that I've given that will display a pizza. So our uh, sausage pizza, let me just change this to sausage pizza. I think I chose the wrong name. That should do it. And uh, so we create an instance of our classic pizza, pass that into this method called display, which is just going to show the type, the price, and the ingredients. I can now take that pizza instance, which is the concrete type that was marked sealed, and use that as a basis for which to uh, decorate a sausage pizza and then display its value. So I go to the debug window to uh, run this, and uh, you see that uh, we're finished and it works. So the nice thing about this example is that we could continue on, maybe create a pepperoni pizza, create a vegetable pizza, whatever the case might be. And uh, if we pass in the same argument, that's uh, the same the same instance that's associated with the, the original uh, pizza from our concrete type that was marked sealed, we can then uh, have a classic pizza that has sausage, pepperoni, and vegetable toppings. So uh, that's the end of the... Uh, the the demonstration and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for your time.